Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to the video and page 16, issue 2 of Robot Todd. This is the thumbnail I did when I was working on page 15. I got the idea for that first panel and here I'm just doing like a little warm-up drawing that I have to do for some of these and decided just to thumbnail the whole page on that warm-up drawing page. You can see that I have a like little bit of written out notes there at the top it's just like panel by panel dialogue I, I usually write this in my notes app and um yeah i uh i wrote it out on a piece of paper so i could do the thumbnails on the video and you see i kind of like flipped up the page upside down because i wanted robot todd to be upside down and it's like easier to draw um draw him from right side up so that was uh why i did that and uh yeah you can see here it's just like uh the I redrew that first panel and that was kind of like the picture at the start of the video um, just to show you like what it looked like on the finish and you know, here I'm just like taping off the page what I do for each one of these I tape a uh, piece of this mixed media paper all the, de the descriptions uh, if you go to the description in the YouTube video description <laughs> Uh, it says all the materials that I use, so you can look at what kind of paper and pencils and pens and ink and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, here I am I flip, flipping it upside down again to do that drawing, get the uh, get the the proportions and the you know all that stuff right. And this one I um, it took me a little little bit, not too long, but. Uh, just to get the placement of the lettering right. I had originally had the I can hear you line in the first panel kind of down low. And then I asked my partner about it and she's was like, oh, you should maybe move it up a little bit just so it kind of flows better. So you're not kind of like going, looking at the lettering backwards. And I thought that was a good idea. So I, I changed that. And uh, other than that, it's pretty much the way I had the thumbnails. Um, yeah, so, uh, I wanted to add a little bit of more dialogue than I had been. Like the first issue is Robot Ta was relatively silent. He didn't really say much. And um, I kind of wanted to have more. It wasn't really until the end where I started sort of feeling out his, his voice a little more. Because when I originally introduced him and it will all hurt, that was like his first appearance. I had him doing a lot of like, like inner monologue stuff. Like he was sort of questioning why he was there, what happened to him. And I wanted that to be like a theme of this book, like the, the book to start off with him not really having any memories other than like what happened that day. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna do an issue zero of this comic. I decided, you know, like a little while ago that I, once, I, once I get about three issues and uh, two or three issues done of this, I want to start on an issue zero that I'm just going to be you know, putting on like Instagram or my Patreon or something and uh, just have his kind of voice be a little more defined where it's uh, talk about the world he's in and, you know, where he's at and like sort of how things function on the world and the different characters that are going to be in the story and everything so that when the first issue starts, uh, we can just get like right into it and have him sort of like appear there. But like there's there's going to be like a few pages of sort of how he gets there, like how he's taken to this wizard wizard's castle that's blown up. Um, and so with, the, with this this page in particular, I wanted um, I originally had this where these these I, I mentioned this in the last video, but I had these sort of like jellyfish things like attack him, and I wanted him to like you know zap them or use like his powers that you know his abilities that he have. There you can see him. I, I moved the lettering up like I mentioned before. But um, I wanted him to use like his powers, you know, sort of to violently break out of this thing, you know, and sort of like rejects him because he's like, you know, the thing found him distasteful. The shark creature was like, oh, something's zapping me, you know, get rid of him. But um, yeah, here you can see too, I'm inking, inking the letters. I actually started inking the, the whale shark creature first, but these are Faber-Castell pit pens that I use size XS and size S usually to, to do these. But yeah, so I, I wanted uh, Todd to like, you know, originally ha have him sort of fight his way out of this thing. And then I, I realized at some point that that didn't really seem like in his character, that he sort of like kind of lets things happen. He's pretty resilient, you know, like he can take a lot of punishment and like kind of reshape his body and just sort of survive these different things. So he, he sort of, you know, he'll help out other people. But, you know, for himself, it's sort of like, well, I'm just going to let 
things happen the way they happen and see what's up. So he, these things start to attack him. And at first he's surprised, but then it's like he starts trying to communicate with this creature. And I wanted there to be some kind of like, you know, dialogue going on. Like he's like talking to this whale shark creature and then the whale shark thing lets him go. And uh, that's sort of what how I landed on it. And I was pretty happy with the way that is playing out. Um, we'll see on the next page, you know, it's like he's going to... He's saying goodbye to it as it swims sw- swims away. But um, yeah, the, I wanted the last panel to to feel like uh, you know, like it's this this like whale shark creature. Like he kind of sucks in the water and like whatever's in his way. You know, like oh, there's like this little creature here. I'm gonna eat this creature and digest it, and then like shoot out the you know waste or whatever. So I wanted this uh, to have this kind of feeling emotion of like you know, Todd's passing through it and out, you know, out the other side. And, uh, the thing that I I kind of gave me the most like trouble or challenge, I should say, it wasn't really trouble, but I thought it was going to be the last panel, you know, just to kind of have that, that water, but that actually came fairly easy to me. Um, the, the thing that I had the most trouble after the, did the initial drawing, the, the thing I had the most like biggest challenge was, and you can see that I'm waiting to do it last was that first panel like the colors on it. Like I had this like really clear idea of what I wanted it to look like when I first imagined it. And I, I feel like the, from the thumbnail, you know, from the image in my head to the thumbnail, like it, was, it went, went along pretty well. Um, it was, you know, pretty clear in my head to when I started, you know, drawing it. And then when I started coloring it finally, it, it it just it was just kind of I had to do a lot of passes on it and it just kind of wasn't working out the way I wanted to and even the I feel like even the letterings kind of got a little muddied in there from how many passes I was doing on it like I just the uh, I looked at some pictures um, I actually took some screen caps of that that new Dungeons and Dragons movie I, I watched that the other day it was like or I guess it was like a few weeks ago now and I just like, oh, cool. There's a scene where they're like flying. Up. They're not flying. They're swimming up to like the surface of water. And I, I just took a couple pictures with my phone of that. And um, I kind of wanted it to feel like that, like these shafts of light coming through. But I didn't really look at it that well before I started painting this. And it just kind of felt like it just didn't feel right to me. So I kept... So, you know, looking at this picture now, that seems okay. Like that's probably would have been passable. But I just... I don't know, there's something about it that just wasn't like satisfying to me. And I just kind of kept noodling at it and noodling at it. And um, the paper got like wet and it started to get really frustrating. So there was a couple of sessions where I just worked on that. And you can see here that I'm just, I keep doing these passes. I wanted the bottom part to get darker. So I like flipped the, flipped the page upside down again and was sort of letting the, you know, the water sort of watercolor sort of drip down. Uh, and I'd try to wait for it to dry. I should have pulled out my hair dryer and started, you know, drying it in between sessions. But um, it just was like, you know, it was also like really hot here too. And I was like sweating while I was doing this. It was just like really frustrating. But I went back to it, you know, like, you know, two or three nights in a row and ended up, uh, I accidentally ended up smearing some of the purple from the, the whale shark creature onto the, the sun, the sunlight, the sun rays coming down. And it kind of got, got muddy there and I couldn't quite get rid of it and I was thinking of adding opaque white to the the rays but it kept looking gray and it just kept really bothering me so like at this stage it seems sort of flat to me and then here's like it's just you can see it's shifted I didn't actually do a video of me like painting it because it was like so frustrating but I ended up um adding a lot of buildings and stuff in the background and darkening up the whole thing and I think it came out nicer I think it you know it worked out pretty well um, yeah, this, uh, I feel like there's like a, a more of a contrast now. And, uh, it was kind of interesting, uh, thing too, is like, I couldn't quite get the colors right. So then I just would add buildings and more buildings in the background and sort of the shapes that I saw in there. And so that's like the scan of the finish there. Um, you can see it's kind of lighter. Oh yeah. I have a Patreon, Feral Dial, check it out. You can see a bunch of behind the scenes stuff and process stuff and all that. I just threw up a page on my website too, finally. It was just a blank page for a while, but you can go there to see where you can order all these books of mine, including this last book I did. It has a bunch of Robot Todd stuff in it. And uh, It Will All Hurt, which is the first appearance of Robot Todd. There it is there. Uh, all right, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you soon.